On Tuesday 4 February, the sun set on a truly extraordinary man, a masterfully and thoughtful African leader, a firm diplomatic man just by the way he negotiated peace deals within the continent. The whole nation has been swept into mourning mode and it's been evident with the number of citizens lining up in long queues all day long to pay their last respect at Parliament building and again today at Nyaya National Stadium as early as from 6 a.m. in the morning. His Excellency the late retired president enjoyed power for whole two decades. This enabled him amass extraordinary wealth, large tracts of land with his Kabarak home having one of the best airstrips in the country. Moi was a tactful leader during his quest for a new constitutional order, listened and quietly chose what was best for the country. With his passing, there are things that Kenyans will forever have instilled in their minds. The autocratic rule that put the country during his 24 years, but at the same time, appreciate his love for education. The Nyayo Milk program stands out. His admiration for agriculture, everyone remembers his Munyoko Waudongo, and how he encouraged Kenyans to be more patriotic through his Fuata Nyayo philosophy of peace, love, and unity. I'm Nicholas Juma.